and welcome to St. Mary the Woods College celebration of the 40th anniversary of distance education. I'm so glad to see such a wonderful crowd. Uh, I'm Dee Reed, Executive Director of College Relations, and I, like you, are very, very proud to be part of a college that is a pioneer in higher education, and it means so much to the graduates and their families. Today's guests and speakers will include President Dottie King, Mayor Duke Bennett, Sister Jean Nurley, Gwen Hegemeyer, and Tuesday Strong. Please welcome to this podium, President King. Thank you for being here, and I'd like to add my welcome to the woods. It's a welcoming place. I'd also like to add, before I start my official remarks, that Dee Reed is the Executive Director of College Relations, is also a graduate. She was at Rose Holman for a while, but we had to steal her back. We <laughs> her. St. Mary of the Woods College changed the face of education 40 years ago with the addition of its distance program. As an early leader in distance education, the college introduced one of the first independent study programs in the nation. This program began with the bold vision of Sister Jean Early, then president of the college, as a way to educate women who needed a non-traditional way to earn a degree. In 2005, the college expanded access to its undergraduate distance program by enrolling men as well as women. Long before colleges and universities discovered the need for distance education programs, St. Mary of the Woods College was perfecting ours. <laughs> Let's put the time frame in context. The year was 1973. The Vietnam War was still going on. The Watergate hearings began. And a small women's college in the Midwest challenged the traditional path of higher education. This 40-year milestone will be celebrated May 2nd, 2013. This success comes from having a brick and mortar institution to add credibility to the Woods Online Distance Program. The same professors who teach in the campus program also teach in our distance courses. We place a large emphasis on mirroring what we do in the campus in our technology program. We aren't a degree mill, our success comes from a blend of cutting-edge technology and meaningful faculty interaction. We're high-tech and high-touch. With thousands of graduates from Woods Online, this personal connection is even more remarkable. In August 2012, the Indianapolis Business Journal recognized St. Mary of the Woods College as having one of the largest online degree programs in Indiana. More than 800 students are currently enrolled in this program, from 33 states and all across the globe, including England, Greece, Hong Kong, and Jamaica. Yes, we are proud of our place in the history of education. When I reflect on this celebration, I think of the faculty, staff, students, and alum that make this program what it is today. The tremendous Commitment and dedication of our faculty and staff to online learning is why we enjoy a stellar reputation in distance education. The faculty design the courses using many methods of technology to deliver them. A little bit different from when it was in your day, Sister Jean. <coughs> this teaching process and support services are a combination, again, of high-tech and high-touch, providing opportunities to develop potential, instill confidence, and nurture creativity. On a personal note, when I came to St. Mary of the Woods College as a professor, I had been teaching um, in higher education for 17 years when I arrived, but distance teaching was new to me, and it was something I had to figure out. But I could tell you that for those students, this provides just the opportunity they're looking for. And now, as president, I can tell you, when they arrive to get their ring, they often say to me, I could not have done this any other way. This program made it possible for me to achieve my goals. They're often teary. They tell me how many years it took. 
recently, I put the ring on the hand of a woman who will be graduating in May. She got a ring this year, and she had been in the program for 12 years. When she told me she'd been in the program for 12 years, she acted a little embarrassed, like it had taken a long time. But you know what I said to her? That is not how to look at that at all. You stuck with it for 12 years. Good for you, and good for us. And thank you, Sister Jean, for your vision going forward. May we continue to have that vision to keep this pro program of hot to high quality it is today. So with that, I am going to invite Mayor Duke Bennett. <laughs> well, I noticed when I came in here, boy, there was a buzz in the room, you know, and I, I really believe there's a lot of great things going on out here. Obviously, foundations have been laid in the past, but, you know, you just kind of keep ramping it up and doing a lot of different things. And, this is the second time in less than a week that I've been out here, and uh, I've probably been here more than any of the other uh, institutions of higher education. Yeah. Uh, it's exciting. There's a lot of really neat stuff going on out here, so I'm, I'm proud to be assisting in whatever way I can, but from a community's perspective, it's nothing but good. So not only those that are employed here, the students here, but it, it's building a reputation of, of, of what's happened in the past, but what the future holds. So just, you know, I just wanted to say job well done at this point, and I really look forward to what happens in the future. But we're here to celebrate the, the 40 years of uh, this program, and so I do have a proclamation I would like to read. Whereas St. Mary of the Woods College changed the face of education in 1973 with the addition of a distance program called the Women's External Degree Program. And whereas, as an early leader, the college introduced one of the first distance education programs in the nation. And whereas, the program began with a bold vision of Sister Jean Nearly, then president of the college, as a way to educate women who needed a non-traditional way to earn a college degree. And whereas, in 2005, the college expanded access of the program to men. And whereas, known today as Woods Online, it's the largest online degree, pro one of the largest online degree programs in Indiana, and more than 800 students are currently enrolled in this program from 33 states and all across the world. Now, therefore, I, Duke A. Bennett, Mayor of the City of Terre Haute, do hereby proclaim Thursday, May 2nd, 2013, as Woods Online 40th Anniversary Celebration Day in our community, and urge all of our citizens to join me in congratulating St. Mary of the Woods College on its 40th year of distance education and academic excellence. Thank you so much. Sister Jean Nerley, class of 1949. She is the co-chancellor of the college and served as the 12th president of St. Mary of the Woods College from 1968 to 1983. Early in her presidency, Sister Jean realized the need to serve a new population of students. Please welcome Sister Jean Nerley. Goodness me, <laughs> Wed is 40 years old, so I guess, well, I was 45 when the idea for Wed popped into my mind, <laughs> so now you know how old I am. <laughs> because St. Mary of the Woods College is the oldest Catholic college for women in the country, I wanted to be able to continue that wonderful legacy but the concept of a women's college was becoming less popular at the time. However, I believed in my heart that women's colleges offered an education to women that was uniquely valuable to them as they learned together and in a way that, only, that not only recognized their female learning capacities, but expanded those capacities. I had graduated from a women's college actually, St. Mary of the Woods College. And I had many alumni friends who were happy and very successful women. However, their view about women's education that I am describing was often misunderstood or devalued or simply rejected by those who disagreed with it. However, to me, simply turning the campus co-ed was not the real answer to this continuation of what we had been doing since 1840. I had been thinking for some time about alternate ways that St. Mary of the Woods could offer a college degree to anyone, man or woman, without the campus itself becoming co-ed. 
So I began to explore in what different ways a degree might be offered. At the time, there was only one other college in the country, Goddard College in Vermont, that offered a full college education in the form of an external degree. So, Mr. William Ike, who was then academic dean, and I visited Goddard College to see what we could learn from their experience. We came back from that visit with some quite different ideas from what Goddard was doing, although we appreciated what they were doing, but with ideas that we felt would work here. So, with somewhat quaking hearts, let me tell you, we established the WED program, and I'm not, um, I'm not, not right about that. My heart was really quaking when we established the WED program because no one knew whether it was going to work and how it would be received. But I'm, I'm looking at WED, what WED has done these last 40 years. I'm just very happy that we decided that we would go ahead and do it. And I'm always happy to see the ways in which various St. Mary of the Woods College presidents have changed and improved and expanded the program to meet the always changing time. And I think that's the key to the WED program. You will always have to see what are the needs of those women out there and now men out there for an external degree and meet those needs. So, I would like to propose a toast with some invisible wine <laughs> <laughs> to a great past and to the always changing future of St. Mary of the Woods and the Woods External Degree. Here, here. One of our best advocates for distance education is Gwen Hagemeyer. Gwen is the director of Woods Online. She's a 2009 graduate of the Master of Leadership Development Program. And on a personal note, I met Gwen at a recruiting session for American Marketing Association. And if it had not been for Gwen, I would not be a graduate of this college. Now you can thank her or boo her. <laughs> <laughs> but I do thank you and I know, I know her passion for this college. Uh, and I know it very, very well. Well, you've already heard that we've changed over the last 40 years, and we'll continue to do that, and that's what should happen, and Sister Jean is exactly right in that. But what I want to talk about, too, is that there's been something constant over these 40 years, and that's been the relationships that have been built between our students and our faculty and our staff. And that's also very important, and I think that it will continue, no matter how we change, because we'll know that it's a priority, that as we are small, we can be flexible when, we don't, when bigger colleges don't have that opportunity. Students have been fortunate to not just be a number in our program. There have been numerous staff members all across campus who have come to know them by name, and by circumstance, and they're lucky to have been in a place like that. While the Office of Woods Online has been responsible for administering the program, students also came into contact with staff all over the, the campus. Career Development, the Registrar's Office, the Business Office, and Financial Aid. And I'd like to take just a minute and have the people who work as staff members and administrators around campus to stand up and be recognized. students succeed and obtain their goal. As we strive to change the program and remain current, I believe that this personal touch will make a difference. And I'd like to also recognize Alice Quinlan, who has been uh, the, WED pre the WED director um, for 19 years. So early years, the student and teacher began working out projects that would document the knowledge that they would gain over the year, or the semester. This was very much a one-on-one, -on -one, um, based on independent study, as Dottie said, 
and by the student who was guided by the teacher. Today, courses are much more formalized, and the mode of teaching is now all online. But the outcome is similar, the education that prepares students for the future, not just in one area, but also gives them skills to do whatever they want to do and become whatever they want to become. As I began thinking about what I would say today, I knew that I wanted my remarks to focus on teaching and learning framed by the students and the teachers. The following quote shows how students have touched the faculty lives. Jackie Fisher, assistant dean, recently said, my work at SMWC has been so enriched through my daily interactions and work with students who have been enrolled in and graduated from WED and Woods Online. Our adult learners are driven, motivated, and determined, and are pursuing their degrees while also taking care of a number of other responsibilities, including work, caring for children, parents, and other family members. And many of them volunteer as in their communities as well. I have been inspired by so many of them and feel appreciative to be part of their journey as they pursue their academic goals, which, for some of them, has been a lifelong dream. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge and celebrate that we currently have several faculty members who have taught distance students for 30 years or more. So I'd like to recognize them if they're in the audience, but also to acknowledge them if they're not. Please stand as I call your name, and remain standing, please, and we'll applaud at the end. Mike Haycock, Joyce Kevwalader, Brenda Carlisle, Sister Ellen Cunningham, Janice Dukes, Sister Joanne Golding, Patrick Harkins. Now, Patrick, I know you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Alice Hochalter, Father Bernie, Darlene Norman, Sister Rosemary Nudd, Judy Stoffel, and Bob Watts. I'd like to have you applaud. I'd also like to acknowledge that there are others in the, in the audience here who have been teaching for some time as well. So could anyone who has taught WED or Woods Online over the years please stand up? Today, I also have a special honor of recognizing a faculty member who announced her retirement this month. Sister Martha Steidel, can you please come up and join me? <laughs> Since I have been at the woods, she has taught life learning skills, a beginning course, music for living, and most recently, saints and peacemakers. While she also taught music on our campus program for many years, she chose to continue teaching and WED was online after her retirement as a full-time faculty member. She has worked through many transitions, from project-based independent study to developing structured courses that accepted assignments by mail, then email, and now to a totally online program. Sister Martha has had her first experience with webinars this year. <laughs> As more than one faculty and staff member has said, Sister Martha has always been there when we did faculty <coughs> development activities, promoting better teaching. She has been a little bulldog when it comes to deep learning technology skills along the way. And I've appreciated that she has sent me numerous articles about technology and distance education. So I have a plaque to present to her today to recognize her dedication. And I have a quote by a, a Woods Online student who said, I am so happy to hear that Sister Martha is being honored. I took an entry level class with her during her first year and now have enjoyed her Saints and Peacemakers class this semester. 
She both challenged and encouraged me. I can't think of nicer words to share with a lifelong teacher. Please stand and let me thank Sister Martha Stiles. It has been an honor to work with so many wonderful women and men as they've worked towards their goal of enriching their minds. While some students have done this for self-growth, to complete a goal that was interrupted many years ago, to qualify for promotion at work, many have done the trip to help their families, whether it was because they were going to get a pay increase, but also to model to their children. A very common theme in application essays has been the wish to model the importance of education to their children. And students have done this in many ways. From hanging graded assignments on the refrigerator, <laughs> to dissecting a fetal pig on the kitchen table with their kids and neighbor kids in the house with your body shaking your head, to studying very early in the morning and very late at night. While I know that this learning process, what I know is that this learning process has developed thousands of self-reliant, confident women and men. I received a copy of an essay this week that was sent by a May graduate who thought she was going to be here and then wasn't able to. She was a young woman who was allowed to join our program without coming to campus for her orientation which until about five years ago really didn't happen very often. She said, SMWC did okay the exemption from the residency requirement, but the person in charge of admissions wanted to speak to me, not my mom. I was forced to find my voice that day, trading childhood dependence for adult independence. Ever since that day, I have been required to continually find and refine my voice as an SMWC student. And in so doing, I found myself. She went on and sent me a letter where she said, I want to thank you, the faculty and the staff, for the opportunity to obtain a rigorous undergraduate education in the liberal arts from my home in the rural desert of Arizona. Thanks to Woods Online at SMWC, I have a college degree, an intensified love of history, women's issues, English literature, and an unshakable belief in the need for peace and justice. So I thought that was a wonderful thing to hear this week as we were getting ready for this. But I want to leave you with an image that stayed in my mind for a long time. Imagine dozens of women and men who were in an orientation, a new student residency, and we brought balloons in that were filled with helium, and we would bat them around. They had words on them like family, work, children, illness, goals, assignments due, job promotion. And the goal was to keep them in the air and not drop the ball. <laughs> the exercise caused chaos and join in the room of students who were just enrolling in school. Just enrolling in school, just as enrolling in school, caused chaos and joy in their lives at home. And they probably, for their families too. <laughs> when I think about what's online, students, that's what I think about. Real people balancing dozens of responsibilities in an effort to improve their lives. What a valiant and worthwhile endeavor. I know that we have several current students and a few graduates in the audience. Please stand up and be recognized. Our celebration today would not be complete unless we hear from one of our graduates. Her foundation for personal and professional success began right here at SMWC. Tuesday Strong is the Director of Academic Projects at Rose Holman Institute of Technology, a 2003 graduate. Stay with me, 
I'm going to have to take a deep breath. <laughs> Tuesday holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Human Resource Management, a Master of Science degree in Human Resource Development from Indiana State University, a Master of Science in Strategic Management, and a Master of Business Administration degree from Kelly School of Business at Indiana, at Indiana University. Tuesday is a certified professional in human resources through the Society for Human Resource Management. She completed a management development program at Harvard University. And in her spare time, <laughs> she writes a blog focusing on organizational development and personal branding. Talk about a lifelong learner. <laughs> Please welcome Tuesday Strong. Thank you. What an honor to be here today, a part of this special day. I would like to share just a little bit of my St. Mary of the Woods story with you. Uh, as Dee mentioned, I did receive my undergraduate degree from the Wood Program in 2003. It was in Human Resource Management. Um, little did I know when I began the program that uh, being able to continue my education while working full time, being supported by the faculty and the staff, um, that this would be life changing for me. Um, it inspired me to believe in myself and empowered me to continue my education. You may expect such things from a program like this, but for me it was life-changing. You see, I dropped out of school when I was 15 and I never completed high school, so education means a great deal to me. The WED program provided me with a foundation that enabled me to continue on my education. I am proof positive that the WED's online changes lives. I learned so much more than what was in the curriculum. I learned how to learn, and I learned that no matter your circumstances, no matter where you've been, no matter who you are, it doesn't define where you're going. So I thank you. Thank you, Chief Faye. Thank you for your personal reflection, and we're so glad to be a part of who you are. But a great deal of that comes from you. <laughs> Before I give the closing remarks, I would like to acknowledge Gwen Hagemeyer. Gwen had came to us a lot of years ago and um, has done several jobs. How many jobs have you done? <laughs> Four jobs. Um, personally, she's been a mentor to me when I was learning how to teach in this program, and she did all of the scheduling and one-on-one, -on -one, and she became my friend along the way. And then when Alice left after 19 years, you can imagine those shoes to fill, and Gwen took it on, the transition to a totally online format, and all she's accomplished. And we just learned, much to our chagrin, that Gwen will be retiring this year, but I would like for you to stand, Gwen, and let us acknowledge you. I celebrate those who chose this non-traditional path to earn a college degree. I admire these people who are mothers, fathers, full-time employees, and every day they balance personal and professional responsibilities and still persevere to meet their professional goals. They inspire me with their drive and motivation to launch, enhance, and change careers. Their determination and sacrifices along the way made their achievements possible. And when they graduate, they leave these woods with knowledge and with confidence to help make the world a better place. For 40 years, the faculty and staff at St. Mary of the Woods College have been committed to helping adult students reach their educational and career goals. And I am proud to be part of this community. Thank you.